Welcome back. It's now time for our Eat Well, Live Well segment. I understand the chef has a tasty appetizer recipe this week that's healthy. Let's check it out. Making hummus is pretty simple. The process is about the same. You can change some of the flavor components if you like. And so let's get going and I'll show you what, what I mean and how we go about doing this. I'm gonna take some garbanzo beans and what I've done here with these chickpeas or garbanzo beans as they're also known, I've drained them of the liquid that was inside the can and then just refresh them underwater. You'll notice when you open up a can of, uh, of garbanzo beans, there's a very distinct and unique smell to that. So I'm just washing that off and giving these a nice, clean, fresh smell again. We're gonna put that into our blender. I've got some lemon juice here, and it's important that uh, at the beginning of this process, you add some liquid to this, because the blades inside there are gonna quickly turn these garbanzo beans into a, into a puree. And if you don't have a liquid in there, it's gonna really turn into a dry pulp. I have some uh, ground coriander seeds that I'm gonna add in there, and uh, this, as I said, is gonna be part of the flavor component element that's gonna add flavor to this without adding any salt to it. I've got some uh, paprika here as well, a little bit of heat to it, if you can find um, smoked paprika, put that in. That's going to add even more flavor to it. This is uh, tahini paste or sesame paste, as it's also known. You'll find this in most uh, grocery stores, uh, specialty uh, food stores carry it as well. And we're just going to add a little bit of that sesame paste to that as well. There we go. Some garlic. I find it helps to, uh, to crush and chop the garlic fine before you put it into the blender. That way you're assured that even though the blades are doing their job and turning this into a puree, that you're not gonna land up with some big lumps of garlic in your puree. So we'll just add a little bit of garlic to that. And then just a drop of olive oil. Now we're gonna take a lot of the olive oil out of this recipe and we're gonna add some water to it, but we just need a little bit of olive oil to get going in the beginning. Then I also have a, a nice sized cup here of some fresh herbs. This is uh, parsley and cilantro, and you'll notice that I put the entire bunch in like that. So we'll pop our lid on here, turn on the machine. Blend it for a little while. You can see there that it's gonna need a little bit more liquid, and that's where the water's gonna come in. At this point now, take a little spatula, scrape the outside of the bowl like this, and then slowly start to add some liquid into the mix. Do this slowly, a little bit at a time, keeping an eye on the consistency. You want this to come down into a nice smooth paste. You want it to be a little chunky, but you also want to make sure that uh, you ground a lot of the chickpeas and also the fresh herbs into a nice smooth puree. So I'm going to turn this on for just a few more seconds and then we'll be ready. Perfect. That's about the consistency that we're looking for. You go in here with a spoon, you can see it's nice and smooth paste. Uh, it's not too thick, it's not too thin, and it's perfect for me to use with my fresh vegetables that are over there as a dipping sauce. And we'll add another spoonful onto the top there. Garnish with some fresh cilantro and put that onto a plate with lots and lots of fresh vegetables. This is a great snack for your family or friends while you're watching TV, watching sports, a movie, whatever it might be. And it'll take you away from those over-processed dips that are loaded in sodium and uh, really lots and lots of preservatives in there that are bad for you. Have fun making this. What a refreshing alternative to those pre-made sauces and dips. Now, if you want to see this recipe again or if you missed jotting it down, you can find it on our show's website, yourlifetv.com.